Welcome and thank you for stopping by the video today, fellow fans of Clash of Clans. It is your host, Galvadon, and playing since January of 2013. Yes, this, the main account, has seen quite a few seasons of obstacles, special decorations, and as you can see, we've developed a second row because there are so many to take care of, and I don't normally clear them. We try to collect as many as possible, although there have been the occasional uh, instances involving Peter $17 where we, we have had something unintentionally removed. But you can see, as this 10th anniversary celebration has just come to a close, that it appears the maximum number of 10th anniversary cakes you could receive is 10. Kind of makes sense. Although, I will also say, in previous years, it didn't always follow that the number of obstacles matched the year of the anniversary or birthday. So, it's, it's confusing and we never really know. Even the creators that have developer builds don't normally know how many obstacles are going to spawn. Obviously, you could get more than 10 10th anniversary cakes total, but you can only have 10 on your base at once. And if you thought I was actually going to remove one, come on! What are you thinking? No, no, no. Only Peter $17 does that. And yes, he did that to my 2013 Christmas tree. But we are going to do our best with a limited number of shovels to squeeze in the 10th anniversary cakes down here in the corner. And you'll see that I've kind of worked out some organization Although it's not completely organized, I need about 40 more shovels to really get it the way I'd like it to be. Now, we are, of course, buying every single package in the shop also using code Galadon. I hope you guys are using code Galadon as well uh, because we're prepared for Town Hall 15. We're excited and we're stocking up on magic items. I, I Okay, I'll admit, at this point, it hasn't become a matter of do I have enough books of heroes it has become do I have more than anybody else that's all I really care about there is no way that I am going to need 108 books of heroes even imagine they add okay actually never mind it could happen right if they add 20 levels to the heroes and then they add 10 levels to each of the pets yeah you're gonna run out really really quickly okay so we remove everything from the village so that we can get a better look at yes that's right those are the gifts that spawned around the christmas tree and those gifts unlike santa's surprise gifts disappear one at a time you click one and it pops gives you some resources and uh, i believe i used to have six over there over the past several years we've accidentally clicked on most of them so yeah i'm trying trying not to click on the rest of them now we're trying to also figure out how to squeeze in these cakes down here along next to the Halloween hallway. That's the area on the right-hand side with all of my Halloween obstacles. On the left-hand side is Anniversary Alley, where, of course, we celebrate birthdays and anniversaries of Clash of Clans. So if there's going to be 10 cakes, you can see here that I can only fit seven on the bottom left. The remainder are going to have to go and wrap around to the right-hand side. And I also realize that many of you probably think that I'm ridiculous for even worrying about this stuff. But maybe some of you are with me on this and I am losing sleep at night figuring out how to squeeze all of those in and also being very disappointed every single time a package shows up in the shop and there's no shovel with it. Now, at the same time, I, yes, admit, I am the person, the content creator that gave the nickname of the shovel, the shove it. And uh, yes, I am not happy about the price, the cost, the implied value of a shovel. Supercell seems to think they're worth 500 gems, which equates to $5 US if you're buying those gems outright. I've said it's a ridiculously overpriced item ever since they were invented, and I still think they are. And yes, I will also admit that if they added a 10 pack for $49.99 in the shop, I would buy it. As, as well so but hey, don't be getting any ideas supercell right yeah the, there, there's a few of us that probably would buy an unlimited number of shovels or take an unlimited number of shovels as clan game rewards right that would be sweet too let's let's just put them somewhere else how about raid medals how about more of them in with the clan games i don't know there's got to be places they can shove more shovels uh, anyway, maybe I shouldn't have called them shove -its. Maybe, you know, it's a personal thing and they're taking revenge on me 
for giving it that nickname. I don't know. Anyway, okay, so what else do we have going on? Okay, so here's the issue. There's these little gaps over here, and I'm a bit of a perfectionist, although I would not say like OCD level, where, you know, I can't fit this cake in here. And yes, I would love to shift all of the cakes over one slot to the left, but that's a ridiculous number of shovels. And again, I, I don't think it's likely that we're going to see a mega shovel pack, although I would love to have one. Also can't fit that cake there. So, you know, it's less than optimized. I know there's some other villages out there that look better than mine. Also, my Halloween side is a complete disaster. Everything is disorganized. These need to move. Those two, or maybe three, should move up towards the right. And what I could do is create a second row. But also realize the second row is encroaching on my village. It's already reducing the village size. And if I want to copy certain village designs, I actually can't because the second row is going one space into the playable area. So for now, we are going to move this cake here and that's gonna put eight down in the corner. Wait, no, come on Galadon, get with the program here. So yes, eventually I'll move the spooky tree uh, there or yeah, second row and I'll move the pumpkin as well. And then there's a few more obstacles off to the side to the right there that are off center that aren't exactly aligned you can see right here yeah so there's that but give me a break i mean you got to understand when you gem every update to max these are the things you worry about because you've got nothing better to do with your time what am i gonna do try to get better at war attacks that's a laugh okay anyway then over here on the left hand side of my village this is the lunar lane lunar new year stuff over here and also kind of disorganized uh, some of it obstacles some of it decorations I, I don't really want to deal with that either but it's just gonna have to stay the way it is so for now we're going to instead of moving the spooky tree I'll go ahead and move the cakes down first because you can see this cake is messing up my D my D is completely just no, stop it grow up children okay the D and Galadon is messed up and I need to fix it as soon as possible. So there, now that we've moved that one down there, we've got eight cakes in the corner and we'll eventually get the other two. Fortunately, one of the cakes did spawn right out on the edge. So that was good. We don't need to worry about that one. There's just one more that we need to get moved as soon as possible. Also, the end of the summer packages are here and you know I love the big packages. Just don't because I love the value behind these. So much loot, so many books, even though we, again, don't need the books of heroes. We're gonna pick them up and we're gonna stack them up because Town Hall 15, I'm thinking December, probably December for Town Hall 15. And as soon as it comes, we'll do our best to max out. But I also, I have this weird kind of hair on the back of my neck standing up feeling about Town Hall 15. They're gonna throw us a curveball, something that nobody was able to predict Something that nobody has expected is coming at Town Hall 15, and it's going to change the game forever. That is my prediction. And that is the end of this eight minute, just about shovels and nothing else video. You know I can talk about anything. Galapan, thank you for sticking around all the way to the end of the episode anyway. Now get out there, make the best of the rest of your day, week, month, and you'll be kind to other people, animals, and the planet. I'll see you all back here again tomorrow for more Full Attacks. on an eight minute video about nothing. I don't see a difference from any of your other videos. <laughs>